Good morning. A while back I did a little desk tour and showed my ham radio set up. And I got some positive feedback on my website for it. And also quite a few questions on my audio mixing board that I use for ham radio. Uh, people want to know how to use it, uh, what I was using it for, stuff like that. So today I'm going to give a little uh, tour of it and uh, explain how I use it and what an audio mixing board is. Uh, basically it's for uh, mixing sound. Uh, Using in bands, recording studios. This one here that I have, I bought off eBay. Um, they're all going to digital now instead of the analog. So you can get an analog mixer really cheap. Um, I've seen them go as low as 99 cents plus shipping. Uh, this one here I paid $20 and was $40 shipping, I believe. Uh, shipping cost more than the, the mixing board did. Uh, a little brand new one I got. I even had a case for it. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, the reason I got it is... I basically have five radios set up here, plus I use my computer and I have a tablet up here. Um, when I'm working, I'm usually always listening to music. Uh, I just have a cheap set of desk speakers here that I use. I have a surround sound in the room too that I could use if I want to listen to music. Um, or I'm listening to headphones, have headphones on. Uh, I use that primarily with my wife, so I don't want to bother her. Uh, she keeps everything happy. Um, what the problem was is if you're listening to something on a watching a YouTube video or listening to music by chance on a tablet uh, through your headphones you can't hear your radios um, if you plug a radio into the headphones you're not hearing anything else so the mixing board allows you to mix everything down into one output um, actually you have about several outputs on this that you can send it to different uh, speakers uh, headphones whatever you want to do um, I also have it sending it back to the computer so I can use a recording app uh, if I want to do a voiceover on a video or something like that um, I can plug in a mic, I have a little jack right here, or I can plug it right into the mixing board, a regular microphone. Seems to work out great for me. Uh, I like it a lot. And uh, let me show you the mixing board and how it works a little bit. Okay, so this is my mixing board. Um, kind of looks overwhelming if you've never used one before, uh, with all the sliders and all the knobs and everything. Basically, what it is, is this is a 12-channel mixing board. Uh, each row is an input. Uh, you have an input up on the top, uh, either an XLR for a microphone like a band would use, or you can, uh, has a quarter inch jack for a mono input. That's that's the way I use it, all the mono inputs. Um, I keep two channels open here, just basically because they're extras. I don't really have any room. I don't have anything else to plug into, but I also like to keep it open. Uh, I have a microphone here I can plug in up there if I want to do a voiceover or something. That works out good. How this works is each channel right here, that's one channel going into your into your board. Uh, you have an input up here, you just basically run a patch cord from here to the back of your radio. Uh, each of these are mono, so if you want to do stereo, uh, like my computer, my tablet, uh, for my sound in, you need two channels. You need a left and a right channel. One for the left, one for the right. Pretty simple. Um, if you start at the top and look at this, uh, basically you have a gain control on the top. That's like your master volume going in. Um, that controls everything, going to everything else down. Uh, basically, it falls right down in a line, how everything works. If you have your master volume, what I do is on the radios, I set my volume straight up and down, right in the middle. And then I set this basically to the level that I want that radio to be. Some radios are put out more power, they're a little louder than others. So you can adjust this up here and get it exactly how you like it. That's at your normal volume listening level. And if you go down next, you have a three band equalizer, three band EQ. Basically, that's your uh, bass and your treble controls on a regular stereo, but this is broken up three. You have a high, mid, and a low. Uh, naturally, the highs your your higher frequencies, your treble. A lot of scanners, especially, sound a little teeny when you listen to them through a speaker. So you can turn the the treble down some, and you can bump up your mid levels and your bass, make it sound a little better. There's no r right or wrong way of how to set this. Just set it to what sounds good for you. That, that, that's what that's what the key is to that. Um, next down, you have a monitor. You have a monitor A and a monitor B. What those are basically, if this was being used for a soundboard, which was designed for, for a band in a club or a bar or something like that, the speakers you see on the stage that are aiming at the band, that's your monitor mix. 
that's what the band listens to so they can hear the singer um the bass player the guitar player you run a mix through this um that's your basically your volume controls for what you're sending to them off each channel say this was a guitar line here and the guys over on the left side of the stage they don't they need to hear the guitar player but the guitar player himself he doesn't need to hear it so on the right side of the stage you can turn his down quite a bit <clears throat> or vice versa say this was a singing line uh your lead singer uh everybody wants to hear him so you can turn him up on both sides next down here this is called your effects line if this was used for a band they might run the reverb through it uh, uh some kind of audio processor or something like that uh make your vocals sound better um uh, on a sound mixing board like we're using it here you really don't need that what you could use these for is you have your effects outputs that's another output that you can send stuff to if you wanted to you could hook up another set of speakers say behind you uh as like a surround right on your desk and if you wanted to send your scanners just to your back speakers you'd send that scanner to the left side send this scanner to the right side that way when somebody's talking on the radio just by where the sound is coming through you can hear where where they're you know which radio it is um, i'm not really using those uh, i might down in the future but i really don't see a need for it but the option's there and it's real nice to have it and down here last you have a pan that's basically your balance control. You have left and right pan. Uh, how I like to listen to it, this over here is my HF line. This is my HF radio. I like having my HF and my scanners come through on the left side speakers. Or if I'm using my headphones, it would come through my left earpiece. Um, that just makes it a little easier to distinguish. And I have, this is my Yaesu radio. And uh, this is my uh, Alenco radio. I usually keep those so they're going through on the right side speaker or my right ear in my headphones it, it just makes it a little easier that way now naturally when you're using this is for my computer you have a left and a right you have your left and your right kicked all the way over um, that way you have your full stereo separation then down here you have it's a volume control a slider that is after everything runs through here this is the last stage before it goes out to your speakers um, works great uh, you can bump up your volume a little bit bump it down um, how i get it once i get it set though i still i use the volume knobs on the radio to turn up one radio or say somebody's on a hammer repeater and they're chit chat and you really don't want to hear them you can either lock it out or you can just turn that radio down or you can reach over here and turn the radio down whichever works out best for you if you come over to this side here you have these are your monitor outs this is what is fed by your monitors here so anything you set here is going to come to these and you have master volume for a monitor a and a monitor b which basically the way we're set up is your left and your right side and right here is your mains how i have it set up is my mains right here those are going to my desktop speakers these are going to my headphones so if my wife is home and she doesn't want to hear all the chit chat and uh, rag chewing on uh, ham radios or doesn't want to listen to my youtube videos i'm using my headphones boom i can just turn them down i can turn down the desk speakers uh, have a volume control on my headphones works great now i'm using the headphone level output instead of going to my headphones i have this wired and i'm sending a signal which this is a stereo signal on this going back to my computer so if i want to record something say uh somebody's talking on the radio like the other day air force one came into our local airport which is only five miles away I made a big deal about it on the news and everything i actually heard air force one calling in for clearance to the airport if i wanted to record that i can just turn that up and whatever's in the soundboard is going to go to my computer and just open up any recording program on your computer and it'll record it for you and you'll have a nice mp3 which is real nice uh, seems to work out great uh basically all this does is it takes a bunch of audio from different sources and mixes it down and sends it out to either your speakers or your headphones um i'll set the speakers hooked up i send it to my surround sound if i just want to listen to music and it just it it really simplifies things you're not constantly switching your headphones from one radio to the other radio 
uh, over to your laptop when you want to listen to something. It, it just works out good. Um, also, I like it because, like I said, sc scanners normally sound tinny. That just drives me nuts. I can crank up the low and the mid, and I can turn down my highs on a scanner and make it sound like a regular radio and make it sound a lot better. Um, on HF radios, that, that works out real good, too. You, you, you can adjust your tone, and a lot of times uh, a weaker signal or somebody, if you need to boost up your mids or boost up your lows so you can hear it and understand what they're talking about, it, it just... It works out really well so that's basically a mixer uh, it does look overwhelming if you look at everything together and combined but if you just look at each row as a separate input it's really not that hard to get to get figured out and how to use it and um, once you start using one for uh, ham radios especially if you have a lot of different inputs a lot of different radios it, it just makes everything so much easier and so much nicer I, I really like it So basically, once you have that set up, how you like it, uh, you really don't have to change a lot on the mixer itself. I, I still use the volume controls on the radios. Uh, that just seems a little easier. If this radio's talking or I want to turn it down, I can turn that one up or down. But the mixer, what it's doing, it's taking several channels it's taking in. Your left and your right for your desktop. Your left and right for a tablet up here. Um, taking an input from uh, your HF radio two VHF radios, two scanners, and it's mixing them all down to one. So you can send them to either a set of desktop speakers, your surround sound in your room, which basically it's not surround sound that way, it's still just stereo, and left and right. Um, you could set up another set of speakers behind you, so you have this radio going through one speaker, this through another, this through another, this through another. Or you can set them all up going through headphones, because a lot of people like to use headphones, but hooking up multiple radios to headphones, um, it just doesn't work out right. Or if you want to go and also, oh, hey, I want to also do a YouTube video. Then you have to unplug stuff and move stuff around. This way it's all hooked up. It's all right there. And it seems to work really good. So that's basically how I use an audio mixer for ham radios and desktop. Well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll be coming out with a new video every week. Please subscribe. I'm also going to check out my uh, website. It's hackandgo, all one word, dot com. Um, leave any comments there. I uh, really appreciate it. And if anybody has any suggestions for any new videos, please uh, leave them in the comment below or over on my website. And uh, we'll be doing some uh, travel videos here again soon. We're getting ready to go down to the Caribbean. I think it's about five weeks to go yet. We'll be doing a cruise. I'll take you along on that. So I'll be sure to follow along. And Until next weekend, have a great one. See you.